If sampling indicates varroa mite levels in your colonies are high enough to exceed thresholds or cause concern, consider treatments that fit within your integrated pest management strategy. For more information on integrated pest management and mite thresholds, see the Tools for Varroa Management Guide and the Introduction and Sampling Methods videos in this series. This video illustrates when and how to use HopGuard 2 for varroa mite control. Other videos in this series discuss varroa sampling methods and other control chemicals and techniques. The best time to use HopGuard 2 is during the colony's dormant phase when little or no brood is present. It can be effective during the population increase phase if little brood is present. You can also use HopGuard 2 during the population peak phase when supers are in place and during population decrease, but it may be less effective in large populous colonies with large amounts of brood. HopGuard 2 strip treatment may be included in some package bees. HopGuard 2 is a 16% potassium salt of hops beta acids, the so-called aromatic oils from hops, which is incorporated onto cardboard strips. Always read the product label to make sure that you are applying HopGuard 2 properly and safely. Wear protective gloves to prevent skin irritation and staining. Open the package and separate the folded strips. Hang two strips per brood box, four inches apart, over the frames where bees are clustering. If the colony is active, hang strips in the brood area. HopGuard 2 can be used when honey supers are on the colony, but do not place strips within the supers. Leave the strips in the hive 30 days. If the strips are not chewed and completely removed by the bees after 30 days, remove the strips. You can treat hives with HopGuard 2 up to three times a year. Treat all colonies in the apiary at the same time. Resample the colony's mite levels within a week of completing treatment to confirm that the treatment was effective. As part of an integrated pest management program, HopGuard 2 can be a highly effective treatment for reducing varroa mite populations, especially when brood is not present. It is generally recognized as safe for beekeepers and bees. It does not leave residue in honey or beeswax. Thanks for watching this video from the Honey Bee Health Coalition. Visit honeybeehealthcoalition.org and download the Tools for Varroa Management Guide, which has more detailed information on all the topics in this video series. All videos are provided free of charge, and we encourage you to share them.